In the plotlyworkshop.csv file, you will see a number of import statements we will use. The import statement gives us functions, objects, or a set of objects and functions known as a library that other people created that we would like to use. The as keyword lets us rename this library or object to a word of our choosing to make usage quicker and easier. CSV. This gives us a functionality to read a comma-separated value file, such as the one we are going to use here. NumPy gives us the ability to create a series object. Series objects are what Plotly uses to actually graph. It's very similar to the built-in list functionality, but is much faster. Plotly.plotly. This gives us easy access to Plotly's plotting methods. Plotly.graph object. This is a Plotly graph object. We're renaming it for ease of use later. Plotly. This gives us access to all of methods we will be using to create the graph, specifically setting our credentials. Pandas. This gives us the ability to create a data frame from our CSV files. Now, we are going to set our credentials file. In order to do this, we are going to type this out. Plotly.tools.setCredentials file. Now, we're going to specify our username and then type in a string with your username. Next, you're going to type a comma, then API key equals, then your specific API key. Where both usernames and API keys are contained within a string. Make sure to use your individual account credentials so the graph saves to your specific account. In the next video, we will be taking a look at reading our data set into memory.